Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. Uh, today we're gonna go over oil, natural gas. We're gonna look at the charts in these areas and they're, they're looking good. I think we could see a, a good bounce here and I'll show you why I think that. So let's dive in. Again, this is just my financial opinion. Please don't use it as advice. But we'll dive into the charts. I got West Texas oil right here. We have a descending wedge pattern right here. I can even kind of turn this one up a little bit if you wanted to. And looking in and zooming in on this right-hand corner up here, you kind of come in here, we got some continuation. We have a continuation pattern above the breakout and we've got really good support here. And what we did today is we bounced off that support, came in here and bounced off that support. And right here, I actually picked up some shares in an oil company and I'll let you know what I picked up. But uh, this is the downtrend line. You got this, this pattern here. Uh, it's coming down and we've, we're, we're finding support here. They're releasing oil from the strategic petroleum reserves around the world, trying to delay this move or, or dampen it, but I don't think it's going to work. We're probably going to see some massive move higher in, in the, the short to intermediate term and even the long term. A few years out, this thing's going to go rocketing higher. It's driven by inflation. We've got tons of money being printed in all different currencies. And this is just accounting for the devaluation of the currencies. Supply demand, it is contracting a little bit against gold, um, but not so much in the near recent term. And we will also get a supply demand uh, crunch in oil on top of the inflation that they're printing, this, this soup that they're creating. Here's SM Energy. Looking at SM Energy, we've got a declining wedge pattern. Uh, one, two, three. They released that news to, to dampen this move because this thing was going to rocket higher. Uh, dampen the oil move, I should say. Uh, we broke out to the downside, but it looks like it's still trying to come on up. Could this have some further downside? Maybe. Maybe if we kind of zoom in here. It's just dancing here. I'd like to get it back up into this pattern and break to the upside. Oil has been accommodative, but we'll see what happens um, over, the, uh, over the short term here. If this falls downward, if we sell off, we could see a bigger sell off uh, in SM Energy and a larger pullback. Here's CDEF, Centennial Development Resources. Uh, everything was, was coming up. We got this massive reverse head and shoulders pattern. Uh, that's what this is here that I've driven dr drawn in. We've got all these little ones here. You can kind of zoom in on that. Here's our little kind of head and shoulder patterns that we've been going back and forth with. Uh, we've got some descending wedge patterns on the right-hand side up here. Descending wedge, one, two, three, break. And then we're kind of flailing all over the place on this right-hand side. It's not knowing what to do. We've got some resistance up here at 740. We'll see what happens. CPE, Callan Petroleum, back and out, shoulder, head, shoulder, a massive one. Ready to break to the upside, hopefully. More shoulder, head, shoulder, shoulder, head, shoulder, shoulder, head, shoulder. <laughs> and then we've got bigger cup and handle pattern that's about to break. We failed it. Came back down below it with the strategic petroleum reserves. It said, hey, look. Look at all these patterns that are creating. We can't have normal retail investors make money. Well, let's let's sell it off here. I wouldn't be selling. I'm holding on to my shares, but uh, we have we are below the neckline or the cup and handle. I don't know what to call it line, and hopefully we can move on up again. Looking at recaf, hey low recaf, stepping on back. One two three break. One two three correction break. One two three break we just broke that to the upside zooming on in you can see a descending wedge pattern this is the price projection up to about 10 bucks zooming on in we broke this descending wedge and we're starting to try to make our way higher for a recap so that looks good nog big long-term picture one two three break to the upside of this massive pattern right above the pattern that's where i was buying i'm this is the one I bought a little bit more of, is NOG. Zooming in a little bit. One, two, and then a break of the third pattern up. Let's label it real quick. Oops, one, 
three and two. One, two, three, break. And then we're in this other pattern. This is a consolidation pattern. It's tilted downward. We have this that release yesterday of strategic petroleum reserves being released. Let's see if this thing can get some feet under it and start to move higher. We do have massive support down here at 1250. Well, that's actually quite a bit, oh, quite a ways away for the massive line coming through. Contango oil and gas, looking at this guy, zooming out. What I think I see is a reverse head and shoulders, shoulder head, shoulder that's developing where we're going to launch from this at some point. So that's the big pattern there. Zooming in on, on, in on it, we've kind of got this shoulder, head, shoulder. It's probably going to come right back down to test this line and create the rest of this shoulder before moving on up. This is CPG Crescent Point, huge shoulder, head, shoulder that is developing. We're in the right hand shoulder of this big pattern. We broke the big downtrend line, so that looks good. We've got one, two, three, and that's when you break to the upside. We broke to the upside out of this pattern. We've got another one, two, and three in it, and we're, we that release pushed us to the downside of this pattern, but I still think it's valid. We'll probably try to push on higher here. Zooming on in, we're back inside the pattern uh, and hopefully we can break to the upside of it. That this was just news on the Strategic Petroleum Reserve releases. We can make our way higher. GTE, uh, we had this big pattern blow out to the downside, zooming on in. One, two, it broke on the third. I can put that in there so, so you guys can see it. One, two, and then three is here. It didn't, it didn't pull all the way back. And we broke up one, two, three. It broke to the downside from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve news. News usually can only push it for so long, and I think it'll probably turn and go back upward. Overall, it looks really good. Tellurian, T-E-L-L. -L. Looking at this, one, two, and then a third is, is being developed right now. Zooming in on it, not much to really say here. It could be like a shoulder head, shoulder. Came all the way back down. We got support underneath us. Looks okay. CRK, I drew in a pattern, which is, I'm just guessing which it could happen. We got all these little moves in here, broke to the upside. We're looking at this pattern there. Zooming in on it. Uh, this is kind of like a one, no, one, two, and then we got to create a third one, and then I think we'll we'll launch from it. But I put in this pattern here uh, that hopefully this can hold. I put it in earlier today. Here's Sandridge. I put in that same pattern here. One, two, this third one coming down, and maybe we can break to the upside here and move on up. This is what it looks like long term: descending wedge, a little consolidation pattern, and then we're we've got a slight tilt to the up. Well, this is just a, 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 it's not an ascending wedge. It's just a wedge type pattern. Usually it's a continuation pattern when you come from the bottom up. We broke to the downside and let's see if we can break back up into it tomorrow. Tetra Technologies, looking at this guy here. One, two, three, it broke to the downside. This is our huge, uh, we'll call it buying opportunity. We back, broke back up into the pattern. And we are still in the pattern of this big, massive pattern here, moving sideways. Transocean, uh, we broke to the downside of this guy all the way back down. We are still kind of, we're still in a downtrend here. Uh, this could be a potential shoulder, head, shoulder that's developing where we can move to the upside eventually. But that's what I've got for uh, oil and natural gas. Uh, some of them, they look pretty good. I, I'd like to see oil kind of push on higher, get all these companies back into their patterns, and then breaking to the upside. Uh, the Strategic Petroleum Reserve release will dampen prices, I think, in the short term. It, they will not stop this move. It's inflation-driven. And the supply demand will kick in. It'll kick in. It's it's kicking in as well, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to amplify this move. Guys, they're, they're creating the, the largest soup of you're going to get absolutely whatever. You're going to get screwed up because <laughs> oil is going a lot higher. Um, 
if you've got the supply demand next year, and then they put all of this inflation into the system. You're seeing the inflation manifest itself in all of these different assets. Yeah, we're getting a little bit weakness. They're trying to play with the game. They're trying to speak up the fear. They're, they, they, the way they're stopping this move is they're doing lockdowns. They're doing this. This is all court. I, I think it's, it's coordinated. Um, they can't, they're not going to let this stuff just run free. So they're going to try to slow it down. They're going to release strategic petroleum reserves. They're going to do lockdowns in certain areas. They're going to talk the fear game and try to get you guys out of these positions. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do the exact opposite. I'm going to continue to look for opportunities to protect my wealth through inflation protected commodities. And I'm going to, to continue to load up. These guys are not stopped printing money. They're up above 10% still. When you look at the M2 money supply, they're printing. And they, they, there's, a, there's a problem in this system. I don't know where it is. It's probably in, in foreign currencies. They need dollars to pay more debt off. It, they, they're li reliquifying the entire world. There's too much debt. They don't want it to fail. And they're going to print money like heck. This here is one of the biggest inflation hedges in energy. And they're going to try to scare you out of it. So they're, they're trying to talk the narratives. They're trying to manipulate things. They're not scaring me out of it. I'm going to hold my shares. I'm going to continue to buy uranium. I'm going to continue to buy oil and natural gas. I'm going to continue to buy copper and, and platinum and silver and all of these uh, companies when we have these pullbacks like this. When they start to bottom and turn back up, again, I'm going to go back to my mode of accumulate. House prices are going to go higher. We are still in a deficit. Historically, home prices have driven the M2 money supply higher. They've taken over. They are printing like mad. They're jumping on the bandwagon and creating a bunch of currency on top of this. I think holding any sort of asset is going to be beneficial than it would be to be scared out of this stuff. If you guys like this analysis, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And thank you for listening. This is Finding Value.